two. Moving on, the San Francisco 49ers, 4-12 and 12 last year. That had a lot to do with injuries and whatnot, uh, mainly to Jimmy Garoppolo, Jimmy G. Maybe the most handsome quarterback in the league. Division championship odds, plus 500, which is way up there. I was really surprised by this. Strength of schedule is number 19. It is the uh, second easiest schedule in the division. Turnover margin, 32nd in the league last year. Dead last, minus 25, which is crazy. Uh, head coach is Kyle Shanahan. Their over-under is 8. Uh, the juice on the over is minus 120. The juice on the under is even money, plus 100. They are a projected favorite in six games. Their total yards per play, they were number 14 in the league last year. Averaged 5.8 yards per play. Of course, Shanahan calls the plays on offense, so you would kind of expect that. They signed running back Tevin Coleman and wide receiver Jordan Matthews. They drafted wide receiver Debo Samuel and wide receiver Jalen Hurd from uh, Baylor. Uh, and we'll see what kind of player Hurd turns out to be. Uh, we both love Debo. Yes. Love Debo. First preseason game, Debo caught like a 60-yard bomb. That guy's going to be special. Yeah. Now, he, he might not be this year because it takes a year for rookies to kind of work out in, in wide receiver. But Defensive coordinator Robert Sally, uh, signed linebacker D. Ford, Cornerback Jason Verrett and linebacker Quan Alexander. They drafted defensive end Nick Bosa, uh, who I am on record as saying I don't think he's going to be that great, but we will see. Uh, obviously, he comes from a long lineage of great uh, players, great Bosas, we'll say. <laughs> great Bosas. Uh, again, projected favorite in six games. Their over under is eight, and I think it's dead on the number. I think this is an eight and eight team. Uh, I like Jimmy G, I like Kyle Shanahan. I think this will be a massive improvement over their 4-12 and campaign last season. Uh, but 8-8 eight and eight seems about right to me. Uh, just li I understand that the schedule projection says 19th. Um, but I think it's a pretty difficult schedule. But I think, oh, they, yeah. I think they win some games that maybe they're not supposed to. And We're right there. I love this team. I, I like Kyle Shanahan a lot. I really like Jimmy G. I think he's got a lot of potential. I got him 7-9. and nine. And I, I think the schedule's not super easy. And uh, I think I think having Tevin Coleman opens up a whole new world for this offense. What what Coleman was able to do under Shanahan in Atlanta was crazy. That's right. Um, and of course they get uh, the other running back back, whose name escapes me. Well, quickly. Matt Breda is going to be there. Um, Jarrett McKinnon was McKinnon, the big signing the last year, but he's hurt now. And before he got hurt, he didn't hasn't looked great in camp coming off his injury from last year. Uh, but but Matt Breda is. Is pretty good too. Yeah, uh, they're gonna have three dudes back there, and they'll be just fine at running back. If you know a Kyle Shanahan offense, they're gonna put up points, and they're yeah. gonna they're gonna be good. Um, Dennis Pitta, gonna be a stable, and 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 I mean they're, they're just they got weapons. Yeah, they really. Kyle do. Shanahan's gonna figure the offense out. I do think even though with Nick Bosa, the defense is they got to figure some things out. Yes. All right, moving on. Last team. This is the last. NFL preview. Of course, if you want to go back uh, Monday through Thursday this week, we've done previews. Tomorrow on the show on Friday, we will give our Super Bowl picks, playoff picks, and our favorite over-under bets for the NFL regular season win.